Hello, in this video we will look at what these different colors mean. Um, now, the first thing that um, you need to just uh, take note of is this index at the bottom. You will see that it goes from light to dark green and essentially what these different colors actually are telling you is how much chlorophyll activity is happening within the plant. So you will see that light uh, means low chlorophyll activity and the dark green means high chlorophyll activity. Now, if you look at this um, health map, um, it's an uh, early health, uh, which I will explain in the next video. Um, but if you look at these uh, different colors, um, you will see that, um, let's focus on this specific um, pivot point. Um, you will see that uh, in this section here, you've got an area that's um, got variations of darker green and on this side you've got variations of lighter green and essentially what this tells you is that uh, this specific spot here has high, higher chlorophyll activity um, than this section over here. Now there are various factors that might determine this uh, one being just uh, it gives you an indication of the overall health and as you would know there are various factors in uh, influencing the health. Uh, it could be soil related, it might be uh, organic or it might be um, uh, abiotic or any of those kind of factors. Um, also the other factor that influences the, the chlorophyll activity is just the height of the different plants. Um, so um, plants that are higher has a um, higher chlorophyll activity and it's very clear from, from this um, pivot here. So this pivot has um, definitely been planted first and that's why it's um, so green. Um, it's, it just has so much more uh, chlorophyll activity. Now in this case you would rather look at the late health uh, to actually understand what's actually happening here. So you will see that here you can see very similar uh, color variations than what you would would have seen in the previous one. Um, in this case, uh, this pivot point to the left is now white just because um, it's uh, just too um, uh, low chlorophyll activity in comparison to this one. So, um, so that's just uh, what these green colors mean. Um, if we look at the moisture, um, let's quickly have a look at that one. Um, You'll see it's you've got a, a similar spectrum here. It runs from red to blue. Um, so red means it's dry, um, and blue means it's um, very wet. Um, also, once again, various factors influences this um, uh, these different colors. Um, and um, one being once again the size of the plants. The more um, the higher they are, uh, the plants are. Uh, the bluer it will show and the smaller they are, the less blue they will show. Um, and that's just in a nutshell what these different color types mean.